And hey there ladies and gents, this is Omega Belmong here and welcome to my playthrough for DC Universe Online and uh, uh So just welcome to the video and uh, just a recap from the last video We have Wonder Woman telling us, you know, we have problems up in um, Metropolis here and uh, It's brother blood that's you know causing the trouble and he's released uh, some demons and you know he wanted us to talk to Cyborg and blah blah blah, and now I'm here doing the mission. So, uh, in this video, we'll just be finishing up the mission and and you know leading up to the final boss. But there are two little topics I want to go through today. Is actually one of them is actually if you want. Ooh, oh, cool! Exobytes. Okay, uh, let's go here for the side mission. We're probably going to aggro that gluttony there. Oh, guess not. Okay. So for this side mission here, uh, all we have to do is, you know, uh, blow up those hot dog carts there. So, pretty simple, easy. I think there's somebody here, or was here, because I don't see, usually hot dog, oh my gosh. <laughs> usually a hot dog. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I needed to concentrate for a bit. There's usually a hot dog cart right here, so wow. Might have to go both form. But anyways, uh two topics I want to talk about. Uh I should have talked about it a while ago. But I totally forgot about it. One is Oh man, wow. One is, uh, with the new update, you know, we have, or new DLC, we have, uh, you know, new, uh, PvP Legends characters, uh, Felix Faust and Dr. Fate, and they do have a video for that, uh, I don't know if it's on their website, but I remember watching it on YouTube, and I'll probably try to link it to my description there so you guys can take a look at it. They actually went through, you know, the characters, and they were talking about how, you know, each character is all different, and uh, while Felix Faust is more of a, a DPS type character, and uh, I think he said what uh, Doctor Fate is more of a a defensive type, but they all of them pretty much uses you know summoning. Uh, they all summon a you know a monster to come help them. So uh, I will put that up in the description if I can find it. I'll have it in the description so you guys can take a look at that. They actually did a uh, 1v1, pretty sure because it's dev, uh, you know, since they're using probably their dev servers or whatever servers they're on, it was a 1v1 between, and they were just showing off, they were just showing off uh, Dr. Fate and, uh, and uh, Felix Faust. And then uh, there was one thing that I totally forgot about. You know, I overlooked it a bit, uh, and they do have a video for that too. They have the instruction video of how it works and whatnot. There's uh, one thing I totally forgot about, and that was the utility belts. So we are getting utility belts in uh, the new DLC that's coming out. And I think it adds like five slots or something in there for everybody. So you can have five slots uh, for, you know, uh, colas. Uh, attachments, you know, just anything, you know, whatever you can fit in those slots that you usually do, uh, like transformations, and you can summon, you know, your little buddies where you have, you know, got from like the the Halloween uh, special. But uh, yep, so uh, I totally forgot about that. Uh, that was one big thing that was they were talking about during the DLC too. I guess it wasn't too big for me, but. It was just one thing I totally for you know overlooked and forgot about it, but uh, now I talked about that. We have what was the other thing we were talking about? Oh, okay. Uh, so with the fact that the DLC is coming out, it's pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it's going to be either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, since today they had a uh, you know special for you, uh, you legendary members. I might have to go out and grab me a PSN card and get a legendary member membership. So, anyways, I do not want to join your group. Sorry. Uh, so, anyways, with the fact that uh, 
they just announced it uh, actually yesterday. When this video goes out, it'll be yesterday. Uh, you can, uh, or that should be Wednesday. You can, uh, for legendary members, you can, you will, you can, you will get the uh, the new DLC early or on that day. So, let's see, who I refer to civilians. Okay. So during so Wednesday you'll you know whoever's a legendary mem uh, member who has a legendary membership will get the DLC early. So you know, like I said, I might have to go grab a PSN card and you know get a membership just because I want to try it out. You know, try it out before I buy it. Actually, that's probably a good idea <laughs> and see what it is. But yep. So whoever has a legend mem legendary membership gets the DLC early, and hopefully you know we see videos out soon uh, of it. Unfortunately, I won't probably get until this weekend. Maybe. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, so those are just two of the topics I want to talk about. Yeah, I'm probably just going to throw a cola here. I probably need a new cola. This one doesn't heal too much anymore. But, uh, oh, come on. But, anyways, uh, like I said, those are the top main topics I wanted to go through. Those are the really two big news that. I wanted to talk about so uh, we'll just get back for some tutorials here um, I want to transform back real quick here into my regular form let's click on these get these done okay and I got level 19 yay let's go to my skill tree what weapon do I have right now that I'm using I think I was on do wield yep do wield uh, so so it, whenever you, just a little bit of tutorial here. Whenever you get you know your main weapon done. So since my main weapon was martial arts, I have everything, you know, all my skill points, all allocated to all my you know main attacks I need to do. I also have it allocated to some stats uh, bonus too. So each one has, each uh, weapon has you know four different stat bonuses that you could put it on. So in the martial arts you have you know boost defense plus ten. So you have to, there's three points you could put into it. Uh, you have cunning and restoration, which you see me I have it for restoration here, and then you have critical attack damage. So each one has each weapon has uh, four stats that you can add on to, and uh, you know you can do whatever that you want, you know whatever stats you want for your character. So since I'm going uh, healing, I'm I'm rolling with you know restoration. So whatever uh, weapon that has restoration. So like dual wield here has restoration. I'll since I'm a healer, I'll take restoration, uh, crit for uh, healing and uh, uh, healing magnitude, which just means I heal more. My crits will heal more. My healing criticals will heal more. So, uh, f so did I add the points? Yep, I already added points. So, anyways, uh, just one thing before we head over there. Actually, you can head to the uh, Superman monument here, his memorial statue. You actually will get 10 points for uh, a feat here, just for visiting in there. There's a few more you'll see later on uh, once we get to the Green Lantern mission. Uh, there's about two of them you can get. But uh, since we're here, did I get all the investigations over here? I want to I want to head over here and see if I got all the investigations. Because I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there was two here. Um, I got one right there. And let's see. Where's the other one at? Oh, right there. Okay, it looks like I did get it. So, but before I want to hit this mission here, there's a side mission. It used to be up on this little ledge right here. It looks like I got one for exploring Midtown. Uh, there used to be right here, but they actually just moved it down one step further down. So. Uh, this is a side mission here, and this one's pretty easy. It's pretty much just collect this and kill this and whatever. So, it's a lot of the DC Universe mission uh, structure is like that: collect this, you know, kill this, and all that. So, uh, actually, if you want to go over here, there is an investigation over here, behind the hospital or in front of the hospital. Uh, so, you know, just go ahead and collect it. And you should probably just have one more left, or two, I don't remember what I did here. Two more, so. And there's one more down there, so. Once you head inside, there's only one left that you need, so. Uh, right here, you actually kind of want to watch out for... 
a bounty there's a uh, avatar sin you know spawns here so you kind of have to watch out for him when he spawns uh, looks like looks like he's not up so uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the clear so uh, here's another one right there okay let me transform real quick so hopefully everybody enjoys you know these videos and hopefully people learn a little bit from it uh, I would like to do more tutorials unfortunately I'm not the best person you know I don't play this game as much as I used to anymore so if I start you know blinking out on things I'm sorry for that it's just, it's just that sometimes you know you get lost with mostly with you know how many games are coming out this week and next week and you know it's just it's just madness at this point I wish you know everything was spread out and I was lucky that Mugen Souls got moved back to uh, October which I was looking forward to it too it sucks that you know it got moved back but I mean, it sucks for people who were waiting for it that got moved back and but you know it's lucky for me I guess because that means less I have to spend this month and I can wait for next month uh, but anybody who doesn't know what Mugen Souls is, it's actually a RPG. Oh come on! It's actually an RPG game. Uh, uh, Japanese RPG. I hate using that, but that's the only way to describe it. It's a Japanese RPG game made by I'm pretty sure it was was it Nippon Ichi or Gus or one of them. Oh, ooh, Avatar Sin is up. I'm gonna avoid him. Avoid him at all costs. That's all I can say. Uh, I think it was Gus. Or it could have been Nippon Ichi, one of them. Uh, anyways, and it's just an RPG game uh, that's you know that was just fortunately moved back. But like I said, I love the, that they moved it back because it just means more time I can spend on you know Tekken Tag and Borderlands 2, which comes out next week. And Tekken Tag, I'm probably gonna put out some videos for Tekken Tag pretty soon here too. So, uh, so I just has I just have more time to play them. Uh, are they fighting him? I want to try to get in on that Avatar Sin action over there they're fighting. It looks like they are. I'm going to head over there and see how many people are fighting him. Oh, never mind. Nobody is. My bad. But, usually if you're in a, a spot that has a lot, you know, a, a bounty uh, boss that comes out, that pops up, you want to keep an eye on him and see if anybody's finding them. Mostly if you're just soloing like I am right now. If you have maybe, uh, you know, your full set of, you know, people, you know, buddies that, you know, a healer, tank, DPS, and a controller, you you can, you know, take them out pretty easy. Uh, you really do, don't even need a full set. You could probably could roll with just maybe three out of the, out of the four. Sometimes you can even do two out of the four. Really on... It really, you know, is on the, the person that's playing the character and the gear you have. <laughs> but I think it's only a level. I think he's only a level. Let's see. Uh, thir thirteen. So you should be pretty fine. You, but you can't solo him. So uh, looks like we have a little bit more left to do here. Let's get this done with, so we could do some boss battles here. Uh, let's grab this. Okay. Okay. So that should end one of them. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, come on. Oops. I didn't want to do that. But that's fine. Okay. So I'm done with that one. I just needed to beat the rafts. And rafts are just these demon guys right here. The minions of rafts. And they usually... good spot for them is actually right here. And the spot that I was before, all the way on the other side. They usually spawn on this road here. So if you want to follow it. But since Avatar Sin is up, I have to do a detour around. So I don't want to fight him. I don't think anybody wants to solo him. Unless you're level 30. You can probably solo him to level 30. Not if they changed them since the update. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't, but die. Okay. So uh, yeah. So like I said, uh, it's gonna be a busy week for me. I want to try to get some Tekken Tag videos up, and next week will be some Borderlands 2. Uh, 
And the GameStop I uh, pre-ordered at does have a midnight launch for that, so hopefully I'll have that on someone midnight if my brother's not playing. But if we're playing, maybe I will record a co-op kind of deal. Uh, it's not, it's a split-screen co-op, so it's going to hurt people's head a bit, but that's fine. <laughs> you guys can bear it, right? So, oh, let's see, where's Avatarson? Okay, he's over there. So yep, uh, it's going to be a busy week for me. Uh, I want to try to put out some more videos as quickly. And whoops. Okay, set over here. So, like I said, yep, they all spawn over here. So, you kind of want to head over here. Uh, Guild Wars 2, I might just stop production for that for a bit. Just because, I don't know, I, I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> uh, I'd say it's a good game. It's, you know, if you're... So it's solo friendly. That's one thing that helps it a lot. It's that it's solo friendly, but uh, I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm just gonna give it a, four, a few more hours to see you know how far I got. I actually started a new character, uh, a guardian character. So uh, I might just do videos for him instead of my ranger character. But let's actually click it real quick. But uh, hopefully, you know. I was, you know, playing it a little bit more, I get, you know, caught up in it, but I guess with Borderlands 2, which I'm really ho looking forward to, you know, I kind of have to put Guild Wars 2 to the side for a bit, and maybe DC Universe Online. Uh, recording DC UO is pretty quick, it doesn't take too long, uh, but, you know, really depends on if, you know, my brother's playing or not, and if I'm playing it, so. But anyways... This will be the ending of this episode, uh, episode 20, I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. This is Omega Bellamon, I am out for today. Peace.